Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. So let's start with cereal. The boxes never close, the bags are bulky, and don't often sit nicely in our pantries. So let me show you something I like to use. One of the things I use is this snapware. It has a sealable lid with a pouring spout, and I put all of my dry products in it. So I can hold things like your cereal, pancake mix, baking mixes, rice, and more. So I've placed the cereal inside and I'm just adding the lid on top, snapping it into place. And then again, it has a pouring spout. So here's another example. This happens to be pancake mix in here. And then what I've done is used my label maker to write on the edge what it is. So when I'm in my pantry, I can easily know what this is. And then I cut the label off the back of the package and taped it on, and you could use a sheet protector if you want, and placed it on the back so my measurements for what I need for making pancakes or waffles is readily available to me. Here's a quick look at what they look like sitting on my pantry shelf. Pasta bags often don't sit nicely in our pantries, so let me show you one of the things I like to use. You can easily place your pasta into a pasta container that takes up less space and sits nice and tall. And if you'd like to have a variety of pastas, you can place them in a series of these so they stack in front of each other. So I put a lot of my dry mixes in these as well, and you can buy smaller containers that fit your shelves these happen to come from the dollar store. So here's a look at this shelf with all the dry mixes on it. And now I just buy the right size bag to fit in these containers. Another thing I like to do is space save by placing containers in front of other containers. And you can use that in a variety of areas in your pantry. Do you hate it like me when this stuff falls all over the place in your pantry? By purchasing a basket at the dollar store, I can easily place these in here. No more stacking, no more falling, and they're good to go. And if you need some more space saving, you can buy another basket and stack them on top of each other. So here's the first basket and I can stack the second basket on top. And then again, if I have more room, I can use a third level if I want. We're gonna talk about some snacks next and what to do with them. Instead of having all of the boxes open and things falling out of them in my pantry, I buy a basket that fits on my shelf, place the snacks inside, and now my kids can pull it out, grab what they want, and make their lunches from it. So as you can see here, I've got three containers of snacks and one is containing protein-based snacks, one is popcorn, and one is just the other snacks. So they can easily grab what they want without making a big mess. Want to know what to do with muffin wrappers or other odds and ends? Let me show you. I picked up this container at the dollar store and now I just place my muffin wrappers inside, place the lid on, and it stacks nicely in my pantry. One of my other favorite things is to store things in mason jars and recycled jars. So this is my baking soda, and then I've used a lid that you can pop open, so I can use it to sprinkle in my sink for cleaning my sink, or I can unscrew the lid and measure out what I need for baking. Another thing is our sugar and our flour mixes and different things that all come in a bag. These don't store well and aren't airtight. So let's talk about what I put mine in. I like to use these glass storage containers and this one happens to resemble a mason jar, which I bought at Costco. They're airtight and now I just buy the right size bag that fits in here so that I don't have to store the bag. Then I place my scoop inside and my lid and they store really nicely in my pantry. Here you can see my flour, my sugar, my brown sugar, and my powdered sugar in this canister set of four that I got. They fit double deep and save a lot of space in my pantry. 
What about your tea bags or tea boxes? What can you do about those? I place tea bags in one of these skinny Dollar Tree baskets like this. And I put the like kinds together. So I'll go ahead and finish putting these in here and I'll show you what it looks like. So here they are stacked in four individual containers. Next, I have one of those big containers and I just slide these smaller containers into the bigger container. And on average, I can fit one more of these. So you can fit one, two, three, four, five containers into one of these large containers, keeps them all together, and they stack nicely in your pantry. Travel cups for me were always a headache. They always fell over in cabinets or on the shelves in our pantry. So I came up with a way to store these for each family member that now stays put. These are book holders and they come in a variety of colors, sometimes sold as a set or individually. You can find them at the dollar store or sometimes Walmart or they're often in the office section. Now, mine came in a variety of colors and this color right here is red and happens to be my son's favorite color. So now we place his travel cups into this basket and they know now where to find their travel cups and they can put them away or get them out and then they only get to have as many travel cups will fit in their basket. One of the other things that I love is buying these shelves that help you stack things nicely in your pantry. One of the things I like to do is buy these over the door clothing hangers and you can find them at the dollar store or Walmart. I hang my broom and my aprons and our mini broom on the back of our door and it just helps us with some space saving with our drawers and other things. You can also hang cleaning supplies or cooking things like pots and pans with this technique and it will help you save some space as well. Another thing you could do to save some space in your pantry or from your drawers would be to buy command hooks and then put them on both sides, place a dowel or a tension rod so it creates kind of a rod and you could hang things and do this multiple times. So you could hang pots and pans from them. You could hang um, measuring cups or utensils or a lot of things on the back of a door that gives you a lot of space saving in your home. Another one of my favorite ideas is to use a shoe organizer on the back of your door. These can go anywhere in your home and you can hang things like measuring cups and measuring spoons, you can hang utensils, you can hang seasonings, you can hang snacks, you can hang cleaning supplies. Just about anything you can think of, you can hang in a shoe organizer on the back of a door to save you lots of space and create extra pantry room. I hope this inspires you to try some of these pantry ideas in your home. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I hope this inspires you to try some of these space-saving hacks for your pantry. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.